This is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 152. In video 152 I did a, what I call a pop quiz where I just filled in the numbers and didn't explain why and you were you're supposed to see if you can follow along. If you haven't seen that video yet I'd recommend that you go see that one before you watch this one. And in this video um, I'm giving you the answer sheet or in other words I'm going to explain um, in this I'm going to place the numbers in the same order that I placed them in video, video 152 and I'm going to explain why each number went where it went. Now in that previous video I mentioned that there's something interesting about that puzzle and the thing that's interesting is there are eight sets of twins in this puzzle that you can see without filling in any numbers there's a one six there's one six twins there there's one six there and a one six there there's five nine twins here so five nine five nine so five nine twins here we've got one eight twins and I won't show you I think you can see why they're twins these are one eight twins these are four five twins these are two four twins these are four nine twins these are two three twins and these are six eight twins so that's the first time I've ever seen a puzzle with that many twins at the very beginning of it well let's just start filling in the numbers there are only two sets of those twins that we can fill in, that we can solve right away. That one, the one six twins there, and then the four five twins here. The rest of them we can't solve yet. And now that we've put the four fives in here, we have two eight and nine missing here. That's a two because these are two four twins, and we got a two there. This is an eight because we have one eight twins here so ghost eights there and then that's a nine and then with with this two placed we can place a two there and these are the two three twins that we saw so we can solve them now and then this is a two right there therefore we have a two there and a two here and a two here and here are the these are the two four twins that we found now we can place a three here now if you look at these threes here you wonder well can a three play, go here but up here we've got a three in this row so we have ghost threes right here so we know that's not a three. Then we can place a three and a five in this row because these are one eight twins. So three and five are the only numbers left and there's a five there. This is a one right there because well either one of these could be a one but these are five nine twins there so that has to be the one. Okay, and then if you remember, these are five nine twins. We have three numbers here that we know. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three, seven, and eight. The three goes here, and that's a seven because of that eight. And there's an eight there. All right, now we come down to box seven, these four nine twins. We can solve them now. There's a four there and a nine there. How do we know that? Because we've got a four here and a four here, so we have ghost fours here. So that has to be a four. And then we only have two numbers left in row two here. So those are four and six. And we had these ghost fours in box one. We now know that's a four. And we got a seven right here. How did we how did we place a seven there? Well, what, let's look at this column. We've got 
one five seven eight one five seven eight in this column left um, and here's a one five and an eight so we know that's a seven okay. and then we we know this is a one here in box eight Four in box nine. Some of these are pretty obvious, so I'm not going to explain them. If you if you have a if you're not sure why I placed a number that I didn't explain, you can uh, um, leave a comment on this video and ask ask that, and I'll try and answer your questions. Uh, now let's look at row nine here. We've got we're missing one five seven. One, five, and seven. Here's a one and a five, so that's a seven. So that's a five, and that's a one right there. All right, now we've got six, eight twins here, so we know that's a five only number left. And then we can solve the 6 and 8. Now we have five nines left here in box 3. So we know that's a 9 and that's a 5. Got a 1, the only, only number left in that column. Six here. And these are seven and nine. Pretty obvious. Now we got a seven in box two, the only number left in that column. Only number left in row four there is a nine. Eight there. We only have seven and nine missing there. It's starting to get pretty easy now. We got a nine in box two. Six goes there. And a seven goes here. What do we have missing here? We're missing one, five, and seven. And there's a one and a five there. That's how we got the seven. Can't solve the one fives yet. And then we've got three and six there. We can solve them now. in box one, the only number left in that column. And that helps us solve the eight and three there. Now we know this is an eight right there. And so now we know those are one and eight. And then we have a five and a one there and a seven and a five there. And that's it. That was a pretty... Once we saw all those twins, it made this puzzle pretty easy to solve. Um, so it wasn't too bad. I hope that answered all your questions. If you still have questions, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.